Pikachu! Pikachu. I imagine that this is how Hey You Pikachu came to be. You know what kids like? Pikachu! Wouldn't it be great if you could talk to Pikachu? And then they made a game out of it. Yay! This is a game where you use a microphone to communicate with Pikachu. It's also one of the most unnecessary games ever created, except for maybe Pokemon TV, which really isn't even a game. They see the world in their own unique way. An amusement park where It's a game! But hey, I mean, aren't all games really unnecessary? I mean, they are called games for a reason, so who knows? Maybe Hey You Pikachu is fun. To be honest, I've never played it, because I don't know. What? To be honest, I've never even played it, so let's check it out. So the game starts off, and we're some faceless, nameless kid who hangs out with Professor Oak all day. And I've already exposed some of the more disturbing things about our professor friend here, so I've got my eye on you. Today, Oak has a test for me, and what's that test? Battle a wild Pokemon with Pikachu? Go on an epic adventure with Pikachu? Climb to the top of Mount Everest with Pikachu? No! None of those fun-sounding things. We're going to talk to Pikachu. Just talk, maybe over a nice candlelight dinner. It'll be charming. Not exactly what I would call fun, but it'll be charming, I'm sure. Go to sleep, wake up, Pikachu. Get used to it, it's your life now. Today, Pikachu wants to play with a beach ball, and Professor Oak seems a little too dense to know what a beach ball is. He also doesn't know what an apple is, but luckily for both of us, he created a device called the Poke Helper that will tell you. So that just begs the question, if you're too stupid to know what a beach ball or an apple is, but you're capable of creating a device that does it for you, does that make you an imbecile or a genius with some kind of common sense handicap? You be the judge. You talked to Pikachu. I sure did. I am right here, you idiot. I hate you. You suck. Come here. Before I kill you. Pikachu! And it was fun. Not really. And despite making my feelings perfectly clear, I hate you. Pikachu decides to come back the next day anyway. And now we're off for a lovely afternoon picnic. And as per the usual, Professor Oak tags along for whatever reason. You're lucky. I've always wanted to see the daily activities of a wild Pokemon. So you're telling me you're a Pokemon professor and you've never studied the day-to-day -day activities of a wild Pokemon? Ever. What exactly do you do again? I mean, of course, besides making contraptions that identify fruit and falling around a 10-year-old boy all day. Speaking of the Poke Helper, just look at this thing! The analog stick is completely one-to-one! -one. It's like Wii Motion Plus before Wii Motion Plus even existed! I take back everything I said about Professor Oak. He is a genius. I'm also possibly getting a little too excited about this because this is sadly the most fun I've had with this game so far. Which is pretty pathetic. The actual game consists mostly of little events, or I use this term loosely, games that you can participate in with Pikachu. Actually, that's another word I shouldn't use in this game, participate, because really, you do nothing. Even simple tasks, picking up an item, Pikachu, digging up a treasure chest, Pikachu, doing whatever this is, Pikachu. But this wouldn't be as big of a problem if Pikachu would actually do what you tell him to do. Thundershock. Thundershock. Attack. Attack Oddish. Listen to me. Thundershock. Thundershock. Kill Oddish. Thundershock. Thundershock Oddish. Oh. Thundershock Charmander. Thundershock anything. Attack. Thundershock. No, I didn't. I didn't enjoy my field trip. This event, I'm pretty sure, is called Bulbasaur's Picnic or something. That's the actual title. Bulbasaur is throwing a dinner party, but he neglected to get any of the ingredients he needed, and it's your job, or Pikachu's job, to get them. And if you get the right ones, you get to, or Pikachu gets to, eat a meal. And you get to watch. If you fail, whatever's going on here happens. <laughs> Yeah. 
It took me a little while to figure out why I kept failing despite getting the correct ingredients. It turns out that you need two of one of the ingredients, but the game kinda neglects to tell you that. It does, however, give you some hints while you're out in the field. If you forget what you're looking for, never fear. Pikachu will remind you. See? That. We need to get a that. Then there's a little game where Pikachu has to babysit some Caterpie. They get hungry, you get the food, whatever, whatever, who cares? I have a little theory about this Caterpie that's gonna blow your mind. If Butterfree is the mother, then who, dare I ask, is the father? Pikachu. And I have evidence. He babysits them for one thing, and he's playing with Butterfree on the main menu. So there. Put it in the History Channel and call me St. Charlie. It's proved! Also, spinning! Yeah! This is fun! I could go on with the mini games, but I don't really want to, so I'm not gonna. There's really not much to talk about anyway. I mean, you got some Lost Polywags, and that's boring. You've got some Modest Level, and that's boring. And then you got some Treasure Hunting, and... I never thought opening buried pirate treasure could be boring, but what do you know is boring? Pikachu wants to know how to open it. Hmm. I just don't know. If only I could figure out or had some clue to help me with this puzzling situation I find myself in. Oh, what is a video game video maker to do in such a situation? Woe is me. Wow. Chocolate coins and bottle cap rings. These pirates sure have some good tastes. Pikachu, why are you doing this to me? Pikachu, why? Just look at all the tissues! They're everywhere! I'm starting to think that maybe Pikachu is evil. Sometimes he electrocutes me for no reason, and as much as it burns my flesh, it burns my feelings even more. He also menacingly pulls out a stick every now and then and just stares at you. The only other time he has a stick in the game, he's attacking a pinata with it, so I assume he's threatening to hit me here? You better watch yourself, Pikachu. Okay, how many kids ever wanted a Pokemon video game about an already existing Pokemon card game? Probably not. Fun game. How many kids ever wanted to take pictures of Pokemon? Definitely none. Fun game. How many kids ever wanted to have their own Pokemon that they could hang out with? Every kid ever. Ballstastically boring game. I mean, how did they mess this up so badly? Oh yeah crappy voice controls. This game's actually somewhat difficult, but it's not challenging in a good way. It's only challenging because Pikachu is either incredibly stupid What do you become a Ha <laughs> ha, you fell. Or as previously mentioned, just flat out won't listen at all. Sometimes he just falls asleep instead of doing what you tell him to do. Just falls asleep. Just falls right asleep. No reason at all. Just asleep. Sleeping. Look at that sleep. He's asleep. He's asleep! Speaking of the difficulty coming mostly from Pikachu being stupid, the quiz game in your room is a prime example of that. The game is simple. It shows you a Pokemon, you say its name into the microphone, and Pikachu presses the button for you. The only problem is, sometimes, he sucks it up. Really badly. Seriously, out of 10 questions, I knew all of them except Aerodactyl, and I mean, come on, that was kind of a cheap shot anyway. But how many did Pikachu and I get as a team? Three. Three. All because Pikachu hurried and messed up, or he just flat out pressed the wrong buttons. <sighs> One day, while trying to run away from Pikachu, I found a little shop ran by an Abra. I'm sitting here telling Pikachu to buy the lucky fishing hook over and over and over, but as usual, he won't listen. Instead, he bought a flower. Great! It's time for Random Facts with Pikachu! Starring Ramon Sessions, the basketball player. Did you know that Pikachu is really dumb? He walks like a derpy toddler, and sometimes he just does this. It's a commonly known fact that Pikachus like to throw things. Sometimes yellow stick balls. I actually really don't know what that's supposed to be. Pikachu may like to throw things, but what does he not like? Sony. If you say PlayStation, he gets really mad and does a Thunderbolt. Well, most of the time. Sometimes he's pretty okay with it. I mean, even Pikachu's gotta get his Katamari on every now and then. And that is all for Random Facts with Pikachu! This episode of Random Facts with Pikachu is brought to you by Carrots and Peas. You know, this game is actually fun!
The amount of actual fun I'm having is astounding, actually. I think I would actually put this on my actual top 10 list of actual favorite games that I actually have showing up on the actual screen right now. Actually, I'm lying. I gave it a real shot, but this game is boring. Really, really boring. It's in fact so boring that I can't even think of a way to end this. So instead of something clever and interesting, I'm just gonna count how many times I said Pikachu in this video. Pikachu. 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 Want to stay updated on future videos? Well then click that little subscribe button down there. Because that's what it's for. And on top of that, you can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter pages in the description below. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the video, the last one is about Harvest Moves right here. I also have some new t-shirts that you can buy with money. The link's in the description, maybe you want it. I don't know. Bye bye.